Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video. Today we are going to review Case E of the Hot Wheels Monster Truck Series for 2020. Well, welcome back everyone to another Hot Wheels Monster Trucks review video. Last time on this channel, I reviewed the Bigfoot number nine, which is the Target exclusive for 2020. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys haven't watched it yet, I will link it at the end of this video. It's a pretty cool truck, so check it out. But today we have Case E plus a special appearance from a truck from Case D that I missed in my review. And I want to thank whoever commented about it uh, for helping me out. I don't remember who commented because it's lost now in all these comments, but um, someone commented about this specific truck, but I'll show you guys that in just a moment. But today Case E has some pretty interesting Hot Wheels Z trucks in here. Uh, of course, you know what truck I'm looking at in the far left, the Potty Central, um, which actually I don't hate personally. I think it's hilarious. I, I just can't believe something like this exists in a truck form. So Potty Central, we also have a black and white truck joining us today, four out of six, the Skeleton Crew. We have a Jeep truck, which is a new casting that they've been using. Uh, the first one was Hot Wheels Safari. Now we have a blue Jeep, which we saw uh, hinted at at a toy fair, I believe, or a convention. And then we have a brand new five alarm, uh, a green edition, kind of looks like Buzz Lightyear. And then we have actually, like I just mentioned, another five alarm uh, from Case D. So let's start with actually the five alarm from Case D to wrap up Case D for you guys. And then we will do the Case E review, starting with the five alarm. So we're gonna do back to back five alarms right now. Uh, the five alarm from this Case D assortment actually is different from the original one back in 2019. And the difference was so minuscule that I actually, as variant collector, didn't even notice it was changed. And hopefully this video will help other variant collectors uh, find this variation. So this five alarm, number 305 for the Hot Wheels Flame series, is actually different from its same exact kind of a counterpart back in 2019. Uh, the same exact paint job, the same side decals, um, except the fact that from the 19, engine 19, which stands for obviously 2019, and the tailgate, which also said the same thing, they actually changed it to engine 68 because it's no longer 2019. So they have changed the back, and also the front has now a Hot Wheels Fire decal. So we're just gonna quickly unbox this one. Uh, nothing too special about it, and kinda wanna get out of the way. But um, here it is, the comparisons back to back, whoops, sorry, uh, back to back here. Um, engine 68, the gold is definitely a changed, uh, it's actually, oh, it's a reflective decal now. So it's actually reflective gold instead of a um, printed on color gold. So engine 68 instead of engine 19. And then the front here has Hot Wheels Fire instead of a blank grill. And it looks like it says Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Fire Department. So M, sorry, HW. MTFD. I can't go any farther, but it's right underneath Hot Wheels Fire. Anyway, now we have another five alarm to look at, which is the one I call Buzz Lightyear. It's kind of a weird color. I don't like this one. I'm actually not a huge fan of five alarm as a truck itself. Um, I just, I, I don't know, something about it, um, especially when they do weird color schemes like this one, uh, it just doesn't work well with me. But anyway, I am collecting it because I am a collector, but this is the five alarm, number 35 of 75 and number two of 10 for the Hot Wheels Metro series. So here we go. And if you guys are wondering, this is the back of the card for Case E. There is a repeat of Steer Clear, which was the addition with Spur of the Moment in the double pack. So if you guys haven't got this variant yet, it is in the singles now. Spider-Man again coming back because that was hard for people to find. And Megarex, which is a very major repeat now, the uh, charcoal gray Megarex. And then these four are the new trucks of the case. Uh, the stats are exactly the same as normal stats for Fire Alarm. So nothing changed with that. And here is the five alarm itself, the green and blue and white edition. It's actually kind of a pearl color white for the out or the plastic piece here. And then we have um, almost a matte green, but not um, not pure, uh, kind of an offset color matte green, uh, almost a yellowish green. And then we have a Hot Wheels logo that gets cut off by the middle part here. Honestly, I kind of wish they just would have printed on here because it kind of looks weird cutting off your own logo. Um, but there's Hot Wheels, and then you have uh, 68 on the side, Monster Trucks, uh, Hot Wheels there. Nothing on the front this time. Maybe we'll get a repeat variant next year. And then we have this stuff on this side, and Hot Wheels Monster Trucks on the back. Then a blue uh, functioning 
ladder and uh, that's about it. So there's the five alarm and it has uh, dark blue beadlocks with a black rim and a light blue roll cage with a chrome chassis, which is by the way, the new Hot Wheels uh, casted chassis. So that's a new thing that they're doing. So there is the five alarm. Next up is the Hot Wheels Jeep. There's no real name to this besides Jeep, except for, I guess you could call it uh, the 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, but there it is, the Hot Wheels Jeep. I actually really like this casting, not bad at all. Um, it is number seven of 10 of the Metro series and number 33 of 75 for the entire year. And here is the Hot Wheels Jeep. So this is the blue edition. We previously had a Safari edition with zebra stripes with the wild streak in the two packs. And here is this one here. Um, you can see all these little sponsors I realized are, well, I knew this already, but I realized it actually kind of means something. This last name right here, um, I want to say it's Vitusky, who is Brendan Vitusky, the designer for, I'm not sure if he's a senior or not, senior designer or not, but uh, the designer for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, who has actually been um, added on, I think he has been added on to the team. He might not have worked with Monster Jam. But he has joined the team for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, and he's actually the one who's pushing for new models. So I give a lot of credit for anything that I actually really like. It's usually designed by uh, Brendan. So Brendan Vitusky has been doing a lot of work. So anything really new, credit to him. And I'm really happy that he has a little advertisement. It's pretty cool. So all of these must mean something. They must be other people's last names and stuff. And then here is the rest of the Jeep. Um, similar paint stripe across the sides on the top. Uh, they didn't print on the tailgate, which is um, unfortunate. They could have continued that stripe. And then um, nothing in the windows. Safari had some print in the windows, but not this time. Uh, no tail lights like Safari had. Uh, same thing on this side, nothing really new. We have the headlights though. The grill is painted in pretty good. And then we have Hot Wheels and we have um, some more detail on the vents and stuff on the hood and then um, yeah, that's about it. Then we have black fenders, a plastic insert for the black fenders here. And if you notice, it is a metallic light blue paint job. Always praising the Hot Wheels paint jobs. They do a great job with their paints. And then we have black rims, which look really sick. So not a bad model, not a bad addition of Jeep. And again, shout out to Brendan, um, who does uh, pretty good work with these kinds of things. So great model, not a bad job at all. So there's the Jeep uh, Wrangler 2019 Unlimited. And then we have the next one up. I will save Potty Central for last. We have the Skeleton Crew number four of six, which is the black and white series. It is not a chase piece series. I originally thought it was. It's definitely not, but it's very similar to the Blackouts and the Golden Machines because the uh, black and white series actually have 3D graphics. So here we go. And there's a little piece of metal, actually, that's kind of dangerous. Um, that fell out. Oh, it's plastic, actually, like a bent piece of plastic. So with this truck, this is number four of six. I believe we have skipped over number three. Hopefully they go back and do that. Uh, the current two that are out to my knowledge uh, are Bone Shaker, the first one, and the second one was Five Alarm. So now we have number four, which is Skeleton Crew. And again, hopefully they go back and finish because sometimes there has been a reputation of not doing that. But this is the Skeleton Crew and you can see it is, or hopefully I can catch it on camera. Uh, there are raised graphics. They are not flat. They are actually, you can feel a texture to them. So that's pretty cool. And the graphics for Skeleton Crew actually look pretty sick in black and white, if I do have to say so myself. Um, and they're extremely clear. This truck is probably the clearest truck I've seen in a very, very long time. So not bad. There is the roof, the hood there. Um, and then we have the tailgate. It's probably, if not the best scheme besides Bone Shaker. Um, I guess I'm biased because I hate Five Alarm. So Five Alarm is definitely my least favorite. So out of the three so far. So anyway, there is the Skeleton Crew for the Black and White series. The Potty Central, number 34 of 75 and number two of 10 of the Stunt Storm. Potty Central has the most amazing stats, I think, of the entire year. So let's read them off. The name is Potty Central. The truck type is SUV. The strength is making skid marks. The crash tech is Royal Flush, and the motivation is to be the life of the potty. <sighs> oh, wow. All right. All right. Here we go. Um, yeah, Potty Central, this exists. This is real life. Anyway, here we go. Potty Central, right now, the last truck of Case E, and fresh out of the 143rd scale into 164 scale conversions. Three, two, one. Here we go. Potty Central. A truck that I couldn't believe exists in 143rd scale and I cannot believe exists in 164th scale. And hopefully, just for the sake of it, 
hopefully we will have a 124 still in the future. But you know what? I can't give too much laughs at this because it's actually a pretty good truck for potty training. I think that we don't look at it in a parent's point of view unless it's a parent commenting on my video. But we don't look at it in that point of view. I think we look at it more in the collector's point of view like, oh my God, what? Why would they do this? But you have to think about it in the different marketing views. And I agree with the parent who have commented at me saying, uh, you know what, this actually would be a great potty training tool. And I totally agree. It's a fun truck, but it's just, you have to look at both sides and it's, it's a hilarious truck. But at the same time, it's like, wow, they actually really did that, didn't they? But um, those stats are kind of iffy to me. But anyway, Potty Central, the potty truck, um, completely white painted truck. It's supposed to be a toilet. Um, they're obviously a bunch of poops having a party. Um, I guess they're happy to be flushed in the toilet. Uh, we have a smiling toilet. We have smiling toilet paper. We have stars. We have confetti. We have cake in the bathroom. How disgusting. And then again, party and poops. We have a cool poop right there. Check out that awesome dude. And then we have in rainbow, which is something you never see happen, a rainbow logo, a rainbow logo for Potty Central, which is actually pretty nice. And then um, you can see Hot Wheels Moss Trucks, uh, Monster Trucks logo there. I'm sorry, Hot Wheels and Monster Trucks logo. Then some more cake. We have some straight faced balloons on the back and just a guy peeking out with a poop on his head. Potty Central on the tailgate. And by the way, this is the only time you're ever gonna hear me say poop this much on my channel, unless there's more of these produced. But uh, anyway, some more, actually, I think this is the same exact side, uh, just flipped around. So Potty Central, uh, I guess there's a black background. I'm not sure if that's actually supposed to be something back here, but there's something right there. And then the front grill has nothing. I will give them a pass on this one. I think that um, it looks fine. There's so much detail on the side that uh, the grill printing actually kind of looks off, but that's normal. Um, and then Potty Central, a ton of little stars and confetti and just, I don't even know how to describe what I'm seeing here. Um, some flashy kind of bubbles on the back. And then we have Potty Central's logo, a blue windshield for water because this is a toilet. So this would be the opening of the toilet. Then we have the roof, which again, just a bunch of just, I, I can look at this truck a thousand times and I think I'll see something new every time. We have a party and poop. We have another cool poop. We have a poop with a little... Um, party blower. We have a poop with another party hat. We have an ice cream cone. We have a toilet paper screaming its head off in two of them, actually. Two white stars. We have another balloon with a straight face, actually three of them. A piece of cake, a bunch of stars around the perimeter and confetti and red and white and black and more ice cream. Oh my, this is, this is something. This is really, uh, if you took a graphics department and said, hey, make something absolutely out of this world, um, they, they definitely would have come up with this. It's been quite the review this time around. Again, I, I don't think I'll ever say poop that much in my video ever again, but uh, Potty Central, obviously a truck that has a bunch of poop on it. So uh, there it is. Potty Central and the others join this thumbnail. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And before I sign out, I actually want to give a shout out to Burning Rubber Toy Company who sent me Potty Central for free. Thank you, Burning Rubber Toy Company and West Coast Toy Mafia. Check out their links in the description below. Let me know what you guys think about these trucks in the comments below, specifically Mr. Potty Central over there. And until next time, this is Random Monster Moose CD, signing out.